So this is the question. And before getting into the solution of this, I'll just explain one simple term that is relative speed. So you write down the question completely and then come back to this and then again we'll come back to this. Now relative speed. What is the meaning of relative speed? Let's see. Suppose Ahmedabad, Baroda, these are the two places. The distance between them is 150 kilometers. If a person starts from A at a speed 25 kilometers per hour towards B. A person starts from A at a speed 25 kilometers per hour towards B. And similarly a person starts from B towards A at a speed 5 kilometers per hour. Question is, and they start simultaneously. In how much time will they meet? Suppose, suppose this was not there, this person wasn't there. There was nobody starting from A. How much time B would take to reach A? Or the person starting from here would reach here. You can simply divide the distance by the speed. So 150 by 5, that is 30 hours. Alright. Suppose this person wasn't there, then how much time will this person take to go from this place to this place? So this is 150 divided by speed, 25, that is 6 hours. Alright. Now, what is happening? Both are moving and they have started simultaneously. So what will be the effective situation? You see, in one hour, this person has traveled 25 kilometers. In one hour, this person should travel 5 kilometers. So total, how much they have traveled? Total, they have reduced the whole distance by 25 plus 5, that is 30 kilometers. Right? So effectively they have traveled 30 kilometers in one hour. This 30 is called relative speed. And how did we get 30? Because we have added 25 and 5. Why did we add? Because here what is happening? Both of them are working together to reduce the distance. See, what is the meaning of meeting? Meaning of meeting is they reduce the net distance to be 0. If the distance becomes 0, they will meet. Now, towards that Towards, to, to achieve the target, this person is trying, this person is also trying. So both of them are trying, so their effort will get added. Right? So remember, in opposite direction, in opposite direction, relative speed is equal to S1 plus S2. So if I call this as S1, speed first, and S2 as the speed second. So relative speed is S1 plus S2. What is the meaning of relative speed? The effective effort or the effective speed by both of them together. That is S1 plus S2. So how will you calculate time? You will calculate time as distance divided by relative speed. Hence it is 150 divided by 25 plus 5. S1 plus S2. So it is 150 by 30 which is 5 hours in this case. Obviously, you know, this was alone this person was taking 6 hours. To say to come here, so it has to be 5 hours. Alright, so this is in opposite direction. Similarly, we'll take another case of same direction, same situation, 150 kilometers. Suppose this is A, this is B, a person starts from here at a speed, let's say in this direction at a speed 25 kilometers per hour, and in this direction at a speed from this point 5 kilometers per hour. Now, when will they meet? So some of you can calculate like this. Now the same direction. So subtract 25 minus 5 that is 20. So 150 by 20 that is 7.5 hours or 7.5 hours. That is wrong. Because as you can see, we talked about the effective effort. Here what is happening? Here this person is faster and is going away. So his effort is not contribution to the agenda of meeting. Remember to meet their distance should be reduced. Here what is happening? What will happen after one hour? After one hour, this person would have gone here, traveled a distance of 25, whereas this person would have traveled only 5. So effectively the distance between them has increased by 20 kilometers. Right? After 1 hour, this person goes 25 kilometers ahead. This person goes only 5 kilometers close. So effectively the distance has increased by 20. So the, though the 20 is relative speed, I'll explain how. But the meeting is not possible. So here we'll say no meeting. Alright, let's take another situation, just reverse the directions. So the person from A starts in this direction at a speed 25 km per hour and the person from B in this direction at a speed 5 km per hour. Now what is happening? Now the faster person is behind. So this person is traveling at 25 km per hour. That means in one hour he will reduce the distance by 25 km. 
but in one hour this person will increase this distance by 5 kilometers. So distance between them in initial situation was 150. This person has reduced it by 25. So after one hour it will be 125. No, this person has increased by 5. So it is effectively 130. I'll repeat. Initial distance between them is 150 kilometers. After one hour, this person has reduced the dis distance by 25, but this person has increased the distance by 5. So effectively the total distance between them has reduced by 20. So in one hour, 20. That means the distance now is 130. After another one hour, the distance will be 110 for the 20 reduction. So the distance will keep reducing by 20 kilometers. Here this 20 is the relative speed. Right? So directly you can memorize in same direction. In same direction. Relative speed or the effective effort towards meeting relative speed is S1 minus S2. Remember the condition is S1 has to be more than S2. Each wala fast hona chahiye. The fast one should be behind. Then only the meeting is possible. Alright, so S1 minus S2. And that is how we get 25 minus 5, that is 20. Then calculation of time is the same process. Distance divided by relative speed, which is distance divided by S1 minus S2, which is 150 divided by 25 minus 5, which is 7.5 hours. 150 by 20. Alright. So in case of relative speed, just remember, see, the word relative will come only existence only when two things are moving. Okay, so if two things are moving, then only the relative speed situation will come up. If they are moving in opposite direction, then their speed will get added. The speeds will get added. And the time calculated would be distance divided by relative speed, that added speed. If they are moving in the same direction, then first check whether the meeting is possible or not. The meeting will be possible only when the faster one is behind the slower one. Alright, then in that case, the distance traveled, the, the distance between them divided by relative speed will be S1 minus S2. Okay. 